Alrighty then. Howdy, folks. And welcome back to the Flying T Bar C. It is time for Midday Matinee, which, you know, means Honkai Star Rail because I don't want to cancel other stuff for Rebirth. So, yeah. <laughs> But don't worry, we'll have more Rebirth content tomorrow because I'm going to wake up stupid early and we're going to do like an extra long stream for Rebirth. So yeah. But anyways, uh, Honkai Star Rail, uh, the banners have switched over so we are going to get ourselves some new characters hopefully. However, before we do that, don't forget folks, if you guys enjoy my stream, you enjoy my content, maybe you just enjoy my dulcet tones, go find me over on YouTube and Twitter. YouTube is where you can find any and all of my archived content. Um... Uh, I don't really have anything comparable to Honkai over there, but, I mean, hey, you want to go check out my Tales playthroughs? There's Tales of Symphonia and Tales of Arise over there. Uh, sooner or later we'll dive into Vesperia. I don't know when, but we will do it, because it is, hmm, just chef kiss when it comes to Tales games. Like, I love Symphonia, but Vesperia is just done better. If I could also figure out a way to stream fucking Abyss, we will be doing Abyss at some point, but I can't find it anywhere, and so I either have to figure out a way to make a PS2 work, or maybe, potentially, possibly, uh, like, go for a 3DS in some way, shape, or form, which might be even more of a pain in the ass. I don't know. But anyways. Uh, yeah. Twitter is where you can find any and all announcements involving the stream. So, hey, go like, follow, and if you think I'm worth a subscription, I ain't gonna say no. Uh, so let's do the thing now where we click that button, and then we click this button, and then we click this button. And then we come over here and we grab the controller so that we can click yet another button. And now we've got all the buttons clicked. We're going to get into the game. Uh, first and foremost, we will be doing character pulls. Because, A. Probably going to go for Sparkle. Because she's going to be a utility character that's going to be super, super useful. So, you know, hey, gotta do that shit. Oh, what do you want, Ratio? You're kind of a prick, you know that? Tap to register for the Rosetta Rosenthal Cuff. I look forward to meeting you. But I sent you the info about a recent debate competition held within the guild. The debate topic is, are science and technology neutral? Don't get any ideas, I'm simply forwarding someone else's post. The topic is beginner friendly. It's gonna be a cakewalk for me. I'm more articulate. I'm more than articulate to handle this. So, there are no bounds in the art of language. It matters not whether you join the competition, but I am inclined to acquire an understanding of how you perceive debate as an activity within your cognitive framework. Mm, arguing against the other side. Raiders are about arguing against the other side. Very well then, allow me to expound on this topic using the proposition above as an example if you please. Which side do you choose? Technology is neutral. I'll take the opposite side then, you may speak first. It's humans that do good or evil. Knowledge of double-edged sword in the sense that it could be used for both good and evil. Have you ever heard of Dr. Perfect's, uh atavistic experiment? To induce a stress response in his subjects, he developed a series of technologies with the sole purpose to torture and inflict suffering. Such technologies are abominable. I rest my case. See, this fairly confirms my... I didn't even get to speak. 
More often than not, one's rapid eloqu uh, elocution bespeaks an agile intelligence. However, it may also in indicate a complete lack of cerebral engagement in one's discourse. Indeed, the conclusion is plain to see. Neither of us can sway the assertion of the other. Yet it now, the truth at times does shine brighter and clearer via this manner of discourse, and other times it doesn't. Most debates often amount to nothing more than a frivolous play of words. Uh, amongst other things, I have once been enticed into partaking in debates that transcend the confines of language. Transcend the confines of language. Uh, do bear in mind, Mar, that a robust constitution always proves its metal, no matter the hour. Welcome to the International Peace Broadcast. Good evening, everyone. Oi, pom pom. Give me things. How's my trailblaze level? Give me. Equilibrium level six. Level cap raised to sixty five. Uh, after raising your equilibrium level, enemies will drop more rewards upon defeat. Okay, so at least there's a reason for it. Um, don't open this. I told you not to open it. You're too rebellious, darling. You're enjoying your time in Pentagoni. Can't get enough of it, I'm sure. Such a so brave and rebellious gray hair. I'd like to give you a gift. Something that can help warm you up. If you know, you know. Think about it. Those travelers, guides, refined aethers, credits, valuable mineral materials with questionable usefulness. Even the clothes torn off the, torn off from Duke Inferno. They're all within your grasp, aren't they? Oh, right. There's a, also a little extra gift. I don't know what's in there. In case it opens into some kind of treasure, post it to the Interastral Peace Network. Uh, I'll be... Er, Post about it in the International or International Peace Network. I'll be able to see it. Or you can just leave it in the mailbox and check it next year on this date. Might be a surprise. All right. Next year, you won't have today's... Or, all right. Next year, won't have today's date, will it? Well, thanks. What is it with you and the fucking trash can, though? Like, I do not understand that. She's obsessed with the trash cans. Do, 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 do. There we go. Send them out again. Send them out again. Send them out again. Now, what's this new shit? So, we've got the Dream Jolt TV. Okay. Aptitude Showcase. And nothing else new. Alright, Sparkle, let's do this. While Sparkle is in battle, the team's skill point limit is increased, recovers a large number of skill points for allies, increases da allies' crit damage and damage dealt. Surrender while you have the chance. Watch this. Misdirect.
Uh, minor quantum damage increases crit and advances forward their action. Uh, recover skill points for the team and enables damage boost provided by Sparkle's talent. Uh, increases max skill points whenever an ally consumes skill points, enables all allies to deal more damage. Using the technique grants all allies misdirect. Characters with misdirect will not be protected by, detected by enemies and entering battle in Mr. Rick recovers skill points for allies. Damn. We're in trouble now. Okay. Support. She's definitely got a gremlin feel to her. Oh, whoops. Let's play hide and seek. Can you find the answer? Done. Holy shit. So yeah, Sparkle's gonna be fucking insane. Jing Yuan. I do want... I, I wouldn't mind getting Jing Yuan also, to be perfectly honest. Like, just because I think he's a cool motherfucker. I commend Yeah, Sparkle is most definitely fucking OP as shit. By the way, how the hell are you, Psyduck?
Time for the masters. Show no mercy. Conflict is pitiless. And honestly, like Sparkle's gonna be absolutely dope, no matter what your team set setup is. Like, there is no negative aspect to it that I can see. Peace the moment. There's no time to lose. Naughty child. <laughs> Who invited you? Who will it be? Let's be friends. <laughs> Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your speed. A thousand wonders to raise its finest one. Time for show no mercy. Rawr. If we can get Sparkle early enough, I'll do some pulls on her light cone also. Yeah, 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 I already know how to use Samp up. I'm okay. Time to get vigilant! Who will it be? We're just having fun. Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing! Uh, Naughty child. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra! We're just having fun. Uh, luckily her light cone isn't needed that bad, so you can maybe roll on the other five stars since you also like him. Oh, really? Well, that's actually super nice. Stuff. Just look to see if you have any light guns she can use first. You may need it then. Yeah, I'll double check that before we get there. I'm gonna go through all the trials as always though. Come on. 
luck of the draw. Please, and victory! I am. Let's go. Dun dun dun. dun. And then we're got Hanya again. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a and boom. Let's do this. So we've got Sparkle, we've got Jing Yuan. Uh, increases wearer's crit damage by 32. Uh, at the start of the battle, the wearer gains mask, lasting for three turns. While the wearer has mask, the wearer's allies have their crit rate increased by 10% and their crit damage increased by 28%. For every one skill point the wearer recovers, including skill points that exceed the limit, they gain one stack of radiant flame. And when the wearer has four stacks of radiant flame, all the stacks are removed and they gain mask, lasting for four turns. Intriguing, intriguing, to say the least. Increases the crit damage by 36%, increases wearer's skill and ultimate damage by 18. If the wearer uses their skill ultimate, the skill or ultimate, they gain Somnus Corpus. Upon triggering a follow-up attack, Somnus Corpus will be consumed, and the following damage Increases by 48%. Wow, that's just really good for follow-up shit. Alright, well, first off... Oh, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on one second. Oh, they're not there. Lame. Okay, let's... Do this... Confirm. Uh, no blurriness. Oh, yay, I got another Sampo. Uh, no blurry. <laughs> ah, okay, Hanya, what do you do? Um, no blurry again. Meh. 
Son of a bitch! Another Hanya. Nope. Fuck. So yeah, like I had gotten him and then they didn't do any pulls, so basically I was at zero. So that's, one, two, three, I think we're at 40 or 50. Oh, oh, it's blurry. I mean, uh... <laughs> don't feel bad, I got him too. Well... I don't know if I have enough to do a hundred pulls. That's, that's my biggest issue. I don't want to spend any money. Just be lucky, obviously. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, that's a, a four star one that I didn't have yet. Insufficient. Oh, fuck. I was trying to save the this currency so that I could buy these freaking car or light cones. <sighs> I mean, if I spend them all, it, if I spend all of it, it's going to be another twenty. How many pulls did we do after we got well two? We get, we did two ten pulls after the wealth pull, right? Or was it three?
Because honestly, she's going to be really good no matter what. <sighs> oh, we'll do this while I sit here and think about it. Which, no five star here. Oh, got a couple of that card, so that might be kind of handy. Ah, uh, fuck it. Let's just fucking do it. Uh, nothing there. Fuck it, god damn it. Y'all are a bunch of pricks. Sad part is I think I am really close to getting the pity at this point. I'll have to check it later. Fuck you. Like, I know he's actually pretty good, so... Uh, just damage equal to 30% of both attacks. The 100% base chance for enemies hit by this turn to be imprisoned. Additional damage if they are already slowed. In the obscure prophecy of dream, a star from the heavens has enlightened my path. In the obscure prophecy of dream, a star from the heavens has a Woohoo! I got C6 on you now. Lifty freaking do. Actually, it's probably pretty good, actually. I shouldn't be throwing as much of a bitch fit of it as I am about past, it. Wouldn't you say? Everyone has a colorful past. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, we did get a couple of Mahjong chick. Life's just like a game of tiles. You never know what's gonna come up next. Oi, Mev. How, um, how long does it take for the freaking thing to update? And sadly, I have claimed all of the mail. An hour? Okay. Complete all stages of the Dream Vault TV and earn at least 40,000 points in each stage.
Like, how many gems, if there are any gems, are potentially here? You did maybe um 40 or 50 pulls since you got wealth. So, honestly, so the next 10 pull should be enough to get him. I don't know, I'm just looking to see how many tickets are in the pass. Like, is it enough to do it now, or should I just put it off? So, two, four, so it would be two tickets for the pass, plus the gems, or four tickets plus the pass, plus the gems. Eh, it would be enough to get the pool. I don't know, we'll see. I, I'm trying not to spend money. So, we will, we'll see, we'll see. Will I probably end up doing something about this? Yes. But, I might be able to earn enough gems through doing other shit. Because I've got lots of questions and shit to do. Well, number one, we do need to do this, though. Um, question is, what was I needing to get? Oh, I think I was planning to finally finish out Blade. So I need the swords, I need the branch things. And maybe that specific world boss again. Okay. So we'll go run the sword ship a lot. Dun 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 dun. Challenge. Uh, fire, ice, and wind. Dun, dun, dun. Not a scratch. The fight is set. <laughs> Here. <Yeah>. <laughs> Go blade, go. You can't run. Watch this awesome move. Try that again. Your end approaches. Failed to set you. 
Yes, give me more things. And boom. Do the thing, do the thing, do the thing, 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 do the thing. So man, how are you doing today, Mev? You doing good? What's your plan? Your 
friend approaches. approaches. Oh, don't worry, you're all gonna die. Oh, well, maybe not, but close enough. Damn it, you're supposed to give me the purple swords too, you jerks. Right. So while this next one runs, I do have to go use the restroom real quick, guys, so I'm gonna just kind of let this happen.
before me. approaches. Savor it for me. And I am back. approaches. I'm so mad I didn't get spotted. Failed you. Savor it for me. <laughs> it's fine though, I think we'll we'll end up getting the pity on her.
One more run through. Then we'll go start burning our way through some side quests. I think I might have ate too much at lunch. I can me. feel it in my belly. And my eyelids, like, my eyelids are getting heavy. Stopped and got some damn chew. Failed to send you. Watch this awesome move. All right, it's Thursday. So much for going to bed at a decent time. I saw that 10,000. That's big damage. Oh 
almost got her. Last one. approaches savor it for me All right. Let's see what we can do now. No, not that one. Not really enough. Oh no, I'm like out of credits too. Ugh. So I get for leveling up a bunch of vision or light car cones and crap. Genius's response. Each now has a role to play. Increases wear's attack by 16% when the wear deals defeats an enemy. Crit damage is increased. Dance, dance, dance. When the wearer uses their ultimate, all ally actions are advanced forward by 18%.
five, five, five. that up mm. oh apparently this one can have a thing done too Five, 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 five. Uh, five, 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 and a five. Okay. Mission time. What is it, Mar? Uh, recount the situation in the group chat. It must be difficult for Asta. Being the lead researcher isn't easy. As soon as the Legion exits stage right, in comes the gossip. How does that saying go again? Greet enemies outside with a smile, greet enemies inside with a sword. Such is the Herda company culture. <laughs> Seem pretty cheerful about it. This is such an inter uh inconvenient situation. Are you thinking of getting involved? Mm, no, I was just eating well, his popcorn on the side. These rumors have nothing to do with us. They do concern the reputation of young Asta, and turning a blind eye is not the way of the nameless. Solving a matter like this won't be difficult. Predictably, the crowd cares more about the drama than the facts. Stopping the rumors from brewing is more important right now than laying out the truth. And it's better to unearth the source of the rumors directly than to painstakingly try to refute them one by one. Mm, so we get rid of the troublemaker. No, that's not what I meant. I have a friend. They say there isn't a single piece of station gossip she doesn't know about. Talking about First yourself? All, it's not me. Secondly, I don't make friends just for the sake of gossip. It's just that my friend is pretty amazing. And I think you might be able to extract some information from her. Let's see. Right now, she's probably slacking off somewhere outside the department. I don't know her real name, but she calls herself Gossip Monger. Uh huh. <sighs> gossip, gossip is always ir like irritating. Where to now? I can't see anyone slacking off. 
Maybe Gossip Monger isn't around. <laughs> Madam Herta's Heritor Club. Just came back from a nap with 99 plus new messages here. I thought there was another incident in the space station. This is how much freedom this group chat has. This is how free and unoccupied this group of chatters are. Mm, differences in research capabilities are no obstacle to communication. Everyone can express their childlike curiosity in any ways they so desire. Uh, this is a new form of collision of ideas, a brave exploration into exploration of one's own work and life. You mean gossiping, don't you? A story about lead search lead researcher Asta has begun to circulate. There's a mole in this chat group. LOL, which group chat doesn't have a mole? Come on, does anyone in this group chat actually need to do any work? Are we even working for the same space station? Who said we're not working? It's none of your business if none of your business if we just want to chat a little. What I choose to say in this group is also none of your business. Fine, you do you. You're you're the one with work, work ethics. I'm leaving. The rumors are already circulating. Let's gather some intel first. Listen, listen. Have you heard anything from Gossip Monger? Is the lead researcher really that corrupt? Who exactly is this whistleblower? Hey, aren't you off work today? I couldn't not come in after checking my phone. Days off aren't as juicy as gossip. Ah, well, too bad. <laughs> I haven't seen gossip longer this morning. You should rest up and wait for more news. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Fucking gossips. Why are you still here? Didn't your department call you to prepare for the emergency operation? Uh, no. I just sneaked out for a little while. What are the odds? I got a group message two minutes ago saying that something's happened in the special purpose lab. Somebody's trapped. The security department's blocked off the area around the entrance. The special purpose lab? Then wouldn't Pamela, I, I mean, gossip monger, be... Most likely. No wonder she's not here right now. Oh, really? Walkways around the special purpose lab have been temporarily closed off. Please keep your distance. I'm afraid this is a live situation. It's too dangerous. Bitch, do you know who I am? Brother Arlen told me about you. If you insist on going, then I wish you the best of luck. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, destruction, fire, and ice. Let's go. Your brother Arlen's friend. The security department received information about sightings of Legion remnants in the vicinity. However, we just confirmed that there are monsters here that have never been seen before. The security department sectioned off the area immediately, but we lost contact with some people. Did Arlen ask you to investigate? Great, I, I've made some new discoveries. Okay. Did you see it? Look, it seems like the rumors about the station are true. There are Stellaron traces here. Good luck figuring that out. All I know is that monsters have destroyed the power supply installations here. The elevator is out of commission, so the people stuck on the floor below can't make it up. Anything Maybe I can you do. Can help us restart the central elevator? There are plenty of backup power sources in the storage zone. Right opposite, if I remember right. 
As soon as we can restart the power supply, we can get this elevator working and rescue everyone. Well, okie dokie then. Dun, 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 dun. Bullshit. Whoop. Well, did you find the backup power source? Confirm. <sighs> Thank goodness you're here. Give me a moment. I'll give the elevator a little shake up. All right, you can use it now. Be safe. Help! Somebody help! Wait, the elevator's here. We, we lost sight of Pamela. There's a terrifying monster over there. We, we didn't dare to go over on our own. Please save her. We'll, we'll take the elevator up. Please. Oh, relax. I got this. Dun, dun, dun. You couldn't have done it without me. Oh, oh, holy mackerel, you scared the stars out of me. You took your time. <clears throat> That's right. I'm the one you're looking for. Of course. Not only did I know you were coming, but I also know why. So you talked to Himiko. <laughs> 
You want to know who Richard Know-It-All from the Heritor Group is, don't you? How did you know? I didn't even know that. Could I really call myself Gossip Monger? I'm a businesswoman, and we play by our own rules. If you want the scoop, you have to pay the price. I've saved you. Isn't that it's enough? Certainly not. I have a very clear notion of how much different favors cost. I just saved your life. I don't have any particular hobbies. <laughs> I do indulge in a little tittle-tattling here and there, not to mention admiring of a certain scientist. And now here you are, vanquishing monsters left, right, and center. I heard you're with the Astral Express. <laughs> How fortunate. As it happens, I'm a huge fan of Himiko, an amalgamation of beauty, brains, the epitome of a graceful and gentle scientist. <laughs> oh, wow. You have... So... Help me take a high-def portrait photo of Himiko smiling, please? Uh, make sure you capture her electrifying smile. The one that stuns people into a trance. That million volt smile. Alright, that'll probably be my funeral. I appreciate young, brave, talented people like yourself. A superbly beautiful, dazzling, electrifying portrait shot of Himiko in exchange for the secret behind Richard Know It All. Send the picture over when you have it. I'm always fair when it comes to haggling. You are halfway infuriating, lady. So it's up. Security department locked down the area with a special purpose slot. I heard there were remnants of the Legion. No. Or not just that, the Fragmentum, too. Fragmentum at the space station, are you sure? I'm looking through the security tapes, it looks like the Fragmentum is a minor one, but there seems to be monsters that can only come from the Fragmentum. My goodness, I've only ever seen samples before. If a real life Fragmentum. I'll go take a look then. See you guys later. Curiosity kills the cat. Someone like you wouldn't stay alive for more than 15 minutes in a movie. None of your business. Blocked, blocked. Why don't you two just get married already? Did you find Gossip Monger? What did she say? She's married a very Himiko centric proposal. <laughs> I knew she was weird. Uh, you said you were uh, friends. There are many types of friends. She's the type you can only stay friends with if you never meet her. It's okay. It's just a picture. I don't mind. Go ahead. Nope. Nope. Pictures of March 7 may have rubbed off on me. Why do you sound so nervous all of a sudden? Suspicious. I didn't expect to see you here. Didn't you say you were really busy? <sighs> I am. The Legion has only just retreated. The station is in absolute shambles. Now, any progress in rebuilding things has been ruined by the reappearance of the Fragmentum. Oh. An act of Stellaron is rarely a cause for celebration. What did Herta say about the Fragmentum's appearance? 
You know what she's like. It's like nothing's happened. She's just sitting back and giving orders. If there's time later, I want to talk to you both in more detail about this. You're the Fragmentum experts, after all. Mm -hmm. Anytime. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to go. Someone's taken my family encryption key. You know, the one I used to withdraw my allowance? I need to get to the bottom of it. Someone's withholding her encryption key. That might be the whistleblower's so-called evidence. Looks like you don't have much time to lose. Remember to send me the picture when you get them. Oh my, here we go, it really is beautiful. <laughs> gonna print this out as a wallpaper and hang it in my room so I can look at it all day. Right, so I said I was going to give you Richard Know-It-All's identity today. He's Richard from the Department of Galactic Geopolitics. This information is guaranteed to be authentic. He's a business rival after all. So his real name is actually Richard? Yes, he's that tall, thin man with the black rimmed glasses and the slanted fringe. That guy has been chased out of... Or this guy has been chased out by his own department, so he's always hanging around the reception hall. That inside scoop he has, I know all about it too. You want to hear about it? Same terms. Uh, same terms of our deal still apply. <laughs> he may go. And I'll get it myself. Tall, skinny, slanted fringe. they might pass by have been checked. Remember to report to lead researcher Asta. Hello. We'll deal with problems outside the base zone later. Ah, it's you. You look busy. Sorry, this is embarrassing. We suddenly had some stuff come up. I wanted to take care of it before you arrived, but I can't seem to even get a break around here. Never mind about that. Here, this is for you. I made it this morning, and I've been keeping it warm. <laughs> Did you save any for Asta? No, she had pudding this morning. I made it especially for you. I spent a long time wondering what to give you. In the end, I realize I should stick to what I'm good at. Miss Asta loves my fried rice, so I hope you like it too. Sorry it's so noisy here. I wanted to find somewhere quieter where I could get your feedback, but... Ah, don't worry about it. Miss Asta said that gratitude has to be sincere. It's a shame that I had to finish it up so hastily. Some big shot suddenly decided to visit the space station today. Everyone has been in a hurry since the announcement. They're all worried that a bad impression could damage Madame Herda's reputation. Miss Asta said that the guest appears to be Madame Herda's research partner. If he's doing research with her, he must be famous throughout the galaxy. Ah, look at the time. The guest is almost here. If you're curious, just follow the crowd. Miss Asta and I will be there soon. Oh. Well, that's not what I wanted to do.
Huh. It doesn't fit Gossip Monger's descriptions. She said, a young man with black rimmed glasses and a slanted fringe. doesn't fit Gossip Monger's descriptions. She said, a young man with... Uh, and you are? Uh, and you are? Are you Richard oh, Know-It-All? Well done. You found me. So, you're here about the lead researcher's corruption. Anything for a good story, huh? I don't get it. You people live your lives for gossip. Wouldn't it be better to apply that drive to your research? Madame Herta would be delighted to see everyone working so hard. Hand over Austin's encryption key. key. Have you been reading too many novels? You think there's some hidden air on this space station with keys to the family coffers? Less fantasizing, more researching. Got it? All right, you want the scoop? Fine. I backed it all up anyway. Here, take it. And let it be known that I, Richard Know-It-All, do not spread rumors. This is the receipt. See the title on this purchase order? That's what I call substantive evidence. <laughs> of course it is. If I had any doubt, I'd have kept it quiet. I picked it up a few days ago when I was collecting a package. I saw a few receipts requiring the lead researcher's signature. Security department's head honcho, Arlen. He left pretty quickly when he saw him. We all know he's on her side anyway. So I had a peek, and whoa, she's buying equipment for the space station under her own name. <laughs> I've got her now. This is no evidence at all. To break it down for you. The space station has its own financial procedures. As long as the purchase is for the space station, no matter how big or small, it has to go through the organizational account using the station's allocated funds. The payer here is her private account. She's totally embezzling station funds for herself. I'm so disappointed, so hurt. She looks like a sweet enough girl, but not only did she fail to repay Madame Herta for promoting her, she even stooped to this. I was so angry, I was shaking. I broke out in a cold sweat. Have you ever considered that maybe she paid for it herself? That amount of money? Herself? Who do you think she is? Fleming's daughter? Anyway, now you know everything, so leave me alone. I still need to write a report about this for Madame Herta. Seems like it's all just a scare. But it's easy to make rumors and hard to dispel them. I better let Asta know. Master control. Oh, some young brat just came out to me. Yo, Rich. Rich, what about your scoop? Everyone wants to know when you're going to reveal it. Soon, soon. Remember that youngster I just mentioned? My brat came up to ask me about this, too. Once I showed him, showed my irrefutable evidence, even they had to shut up. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha, ha. The one who came to find you was the person who fought off the Legion's doomsday to beast. You don't say. Oh. I saw it on the monitors too. This person also defeated the fragmental monsters back at the special purpose lab. Uh oh. Oh dear, looks like you've run into a big shot, Rich. Left the chat. Rich? Rich, are you there? Hmm. money like this this isn't wasting money the IPC's budget is so stringent and oh the process takes so long by the time my application would have gone through too much time would have been wasted do you know how much hardware was destroyed when the Legion attacked and how many cables are currently out of order on the station how is it my fault when I'm spending my own money to solve everyone else's problems Give my encryption key back. I won't. 
you. Who gave you the right to tell me what to do with my money? You did. I, d I well, I might have done that, but <laughs> you know, I'm wasting money. How is it not wasting money? We lost that finding device you bought during the Legion's invasion. All you had to do was check the inventory, and we could have replaced it. Why didn't you make a new order? And that Starnot fleet from the last time? Starnot? I did make an order, but it didn't go through. I was just trying to improve security measures to make sure attacks like this don't happen again. If, if the money wasn't spent, then it doesn't count. Anyway... Are you here for something? Uh, that's a very abrupt way to change the topic. Uh, please, tell me why you're here. Dun dun dun! So, you think Richard was the one who stole my encryption key. So, he was the one who started the rumors. Huh. That fits. It feels like she's... Not surprised. I'll deal with that immediately. Please don't worry, Miss Asta. Go, go. Wait. Leave the encryption key here. That's a separate issue. We'll talk about the encryption key later. Uh, how can you... Woohoo! Asta can now pop up on the thing. Yeah, it was kind of nice that that was as short as it was. The dawn after dark. Follow Pepe. That's Professor Capote. Are you sure Arlen was here, Pepe? Ah. Weird. Why would he visit this Casanova? That just Casanova. Look at all his fans. Need I say more? <laughs> Behold, the winner of the most awesome researcher contest. Huh? It's better if I don't show my face. See if you can get some intel out of him. Well, okay then. <sighs> I must confess that. I too was terrified, petrified even, but there remained a light in my heart, a light that led me onward. <sighs> that light was the happy smiles on all your faces. Ah, Master Capote thinks about me. Look, skeptical and scoff. It's you. Long time no see. Are you okay? You look troubled. That's a uh... Quite a wrinkled brow. Come, join the others and listen to me recount the tale of the Legion's invasion. I'm sure your memory of the events will dispel your worries. <sighs> the Antimatter Legion barely missed me. And that's when I saw your faces. Shut up. Ah, oh, fine. Not an approval. Ah, I see you no longer look troubled. Such is the power of my rhetoric. Hush you. Ask him about Ar Arlen. Arlen? Uh, yes. I, I know him. After all, my calling is to light up the heart of every person on the space station. As to his current location, then... Forgive me, 
but I cannot tell. Insert dramatic pause and sudden drama here. Everyone knows the most important word in my life is principle. Huh? Without principle, what difference would there be between a person and a mechanical arm? Wait a minute. Last time he said the most important word in his life was illumination. We need to update Master Capote's life wiki. This will be version 12.0 of his life keywords. Oh, God. <clears throat> uh, anyway, um, I do not lie. I, I can tell you that I did indeed meet Arlen recently, and I know where he went. Regrettably, I already swore on my life that I, Capote, would never tell anyone Captain Arlen's secret. Uh, spare no effort. Like you already know what kind of Captain Arlen had a similar expression to yours when he found me. He was anxious and desired an answer. But answers are not easy to give. Besides, he wanted to master a trial of the heart that would thoroughly change him, and that would be even more difficult. You can't even imagine the difficulty of the trial. I was tired merely from the act of imitating- His words match Arlen's work plan records. Seems like he does have key information. Okay. I- I- I didn't say that. D did you mishear it? <laughs> uh, what, what- what I said? So, I Hush. know nothing about anything you- I can't let him get away like this. Threatening will probably not work. <laughs> don't, don't joke about that. I did hear that the space station gives special benefits to morally upstanding researchers, but... <laughs> Stop looking down on Master Capote! Master Capote's life wiki version. Even if you promoted Master Capote to acting le... Uh, in, indeed. How could you think up something so terrible? I need to give you a thorough education. Ah, uh, no damn it. Father Master Capote. Uh, damn it. Wow, the cringe is strong. Yeah, I need to remember what I came here for. Uh, they went through everything with you? Well, I'll pretend I know. Of course. I can't let him get away like this. <laughs> Dare to utter such a threat? Listen here. Leaving aside the fact that you don't have the right to dismiss me, I wouldn't yield even if lead researcher Asta, no, if Madame Herta herself commanded me. Dude, if Herta commanded you, you'd be hitting, getting hit with a giant hammer. I'm not threatening to kill me while you're at it. I've said it once and I'll say it again. I will not yield. <sighs> Master Capote is so courageous. We're so lucky to be his face. Said the exact same thing when he promised Captain Arlen. Yes, the part about not yielding. It's making me tear up. <laughs> I'm gonna print out the transcript of the conversation as soon as I get back today. The fan club needs to recite and memorize it. Transcript? They recorded Arlen's conversation with Capote. I didn't think a clue like that would suddenly pop up. Hmm? Du, 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 du. This is the one who mentioned the transcript just now. Hey, you've been talking Master Capote's ear off this whole time. Do you want to join the fan club? Uh, uh, I bet you do. You wouldn't have known about Captain Arlen's meeting with Master Capote unless you had an interest. You even memorized the internal testing content for version 12.0 of Master Capote's life wiki. You must be one of those super fans that stayed under the radar. Ah, <sighs> we've been careless. You're on the same side after all. Here, this is our latest welcome bundle for new members of the fan club. And they'll toss in an updated version of Master Capote's life wiki. Ah! Oh. He looks really cool in the new limited edition snapshots.
<sighs> Think of the space station as your home. I've got plenty of clues. <laughs> Let's look at these materials first. That's our starting point. Ugh. Even the space station handbook doesn't get updated this frequently. Huh. Is this an audio transcript? Uh, the following is a transcript of a recording. Come on, Kevin Harlan, you have to get into the role. I'm sorry, Professor. I can't think of you as an overbearing boss. Close your eyes and try to feel it. After all, this is a trial of your trial with art. Listen to my instruction. Try again. Um, okay. It looks like a candid shot, but surely he knew it was being taken. It's autographed. There's a figure that's not quite in the shot. Oh, is that... Arlen? So Arlen did go to see Professor Capote. This is the evidence. This handwriting looks familiar. Oh, is it Arlen's? Against the scorching sun, a beautiful flower will never endure. Within my fair embrace, my love for you is tender and pure. Yuck, so slimy. It does sound like Capote. Oh no, he went to Capote so to help with this crush. The heart means knowing how to deal with an overbearing boss. So that's how Arlen. Maybe it isn't about you. Damn. Peppy, it's your turn again. Keep following Peppy. Where did Peppy go? Is he still over here? Um, where's your dog at? Thanks for helping uncovering conspirator. I would like to thank you on behalf of Austin Lee the rest of me. Is it true that she bought all that with her own money? They really don't know. The space station may be managed as property, but she didn't pay a single credit for its construction. Miss Austin's family has ties to the IPC, so saying she's wealthy would be an understatement. Most of the facilities in the space station were essentially funded by her, so the cost of those things she purchased was practically nothing for her, really. Have we decided on what to do with Richard? I don't think you wanted other details. In any case, I have to help you for thinking, or I have to thank you for helping Miss Asta with this incident. Whoa. Uh, update on the rumor circulating in a certain anonymous chat group regarding the space station's lead researcher. The rumor in circulation is false and untrue. Equipment purchase, equipment purchase records and statement information have been properly disclosed to the relevant department in the IPC. The full reports of the investigation have been posted on this space station's personal intro. 
an internal data center with help offered by a certain volunteer. The said rumor has been determined to be false. The Space Station Security Center has dealt with the perpetrator of this false accusation in accordance with the regulations. Furthermore, we would also like to urge all employees to remain alert of any unverified rumors and refrain from spreading them further so that we can together build a positive social environment. No, the procured little robot has been placed in the communal area. Feel free to check it out. What did I say? You tried to maliciously defame a little girl and you're, now you're not even going to apologize. Humanity regresses by the day. Like something out of a horror story. Aren't you know it all is nowhere to be found at the space station anymore? Are you from the security department's Are are you from the security department's monitoring room? You seem to have a lot of free time. Left. Lol, it's just plain funny to have someone like you lecture us when all you do is ride your moral high horse and hide behind a name of mini. If you're so good at being a keyboard warrior, why don't you show your staff card? Come on, let's take this offline. You're self philistine such an ignoramus. <laughs> I see right through you, whoever you are, and kick. Everyone, while chatting here, please mind your manners and watch your words. Don't offend people. Don't make bad jokes. Don't provoke others. And also, don't stick your nose in other people's sensitive issues and don't get to the bottom of them. When chatting here, everyone must take extra effort to, or when chatting here, everyone must take extra effort to hurt people, make bad jokes, and provoke others. Must dig deeply into other people's sensitive issues to find out the truth. We learn to be tolerant and considerate while communicating. If there is a difference of opinion, don't fight over it. Don't act on impulse. We need to learn to be ruthless and relentless while communicating. Uh, da, 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 blocked, blocked. Dot, dot, dot. Um, looking at the chat history, all I see is people fighting. Honestly, I'm not interested. You're great. I'm leaving as well. Yeah, I'm leaving. I can't take this. You guys, forget it. I'm getting too old for this. I'm out. Ding, 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 ding. Well, I had no idea there were so many people in this group chat. I remember you. You added me to the group. I've come to think of it, I haven't formally thanked you for your help. You planned all this? You give me too much credit. I just needed the help of the space station's big hero to settle some stuff I couldn't attend to myself. Herda. Who are you? I think you know. The fuck? Wow, Asta. Screw you, lady. All right, Peppy. staff there are still remnants of the antimatter legion in the space station let's go help them
Okay. Alrighty, folks. So, I'm going to call an end to the stream there. It's going to be a little short, but I got started a little late. Um... So, yeah, uh, thank you all for tuning into the Flying T Bar C this midday matinee. I will be back here shortly with um, more Throwback Thursday where we're going to be playing some Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. Or not Going Commando. Uh, Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be doing that stuff. Uh,. That's really it, I think, as far as I can think of. Oh, right, don't forget, go check out my YouTube and my Twitter. YouTube is the archive, Twitter is where I make announcements. Um, like, follow, and if you think I'm worth the subscription, I ain't gonna say no. And let's go find somebody to raid for right now. Catch a tiger by his toe if he hollers with him, go meeny meeny miny mo. Alright, so I think we are gonna go and raid Anaya Pariah. Uh, not sure she she is playing some Phasmophobia. That is what she's going to be playing. Nice. So, yeah. Uh, now that that raid timer has started, folks, don't forget. Make sure you guys enjoy yourself some good food, some great drinks, even better company. And I'll see y'all on the flip side. Happy trails, folks.